Okay, let's quickly build a basic live stage studio uh, in Unreal Engine using the Virtual Studio Kit. There were two videos prior to this showing how to get the kit and doing a quick tour. So we're just going to jump right into creating a little stage. Um, the default scene, it has, there's, there's a sky and some atmosphere and different things. I mean, basically what's in here is a floor that we don't need. So I'm just going to click on that and then hit delete, get rid of that. Uh, this is a player start point. We don't need that either. Click and delete. And another thing that's in here is, well, there's the uh, sky dome itself. I can click on the sky. It's invisible as a at the center object here. You can also see everything that's in this scene so far is, of course, here in the world outliner. So sky sphere, it's all the clouds and all that kind of stuff. We don't need that. Delete that. And finally, you know, this little bit of haze, that's an atmospheric fog. And let's go ahead and just uh, delete that as well. So select and delete, and we're left with a, a fairly blank scene. However, uh, the remaining icons, we're going to keep those for now. This is a light source. It's directional, so it's just all the lights going in one direction. Uh, this is a sky light source. We'll just leave that there for now. And this is a reflection capture. Basically, Unreal uses this to capture uh, basically a 360 degree image of the scene from this point in space and then it uses that to create really fast reflections on everything. So we'll leave those three items. So let's get started. We'll go in the Virtual Studio Kit and we'll start with a floor. So we'll go to Meshes and Floors and we'll just take out the first rectangular it's square. It's, you know, the first two are circular and this third one here is Modular Kit Floor 20 by 20. So I'm just going to drag that out and drop it in. Now, initially it looks uh, like it's got a checkerboard map, but then the wood gets applied to that afterwards. So that's nice. Now let's start with this first floor to be at what's called the origin. It means 0, 0, 0, 0, X, 0, Y, and 0, Z. So we just go over here into the uh, details for the selected object, which is our little floor module here. And under location, just double click. And then this is the X, this is the Y, this is the Z. And I'm just going to hit 0, tab 0, tab 0. And that places this object right at, again, 0, 0, 0. That's the origin. I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in. Alt and middle mouse uh, kind of floats around. Uh, Alt and left mouse rotates. Alt and uh, right mouse uh, zooms in and out. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. All right, so we have one floor piece here. Let's uh, expand this out. So what I'm going to do is hold the Alt key down. And then I'm just going to click and drag on this little arrow here. I'm going to drag to the left and that basically makes a copy of this object. And now I've kind of you know, very carefully made sure it bumps right up next to here. Now what's happening is right now when we move items, they're snapping. They're, they're basically moving only in increments of 10 units. If I turn off this grid, this will slide smoothly. Control Z to undo. If I turn on this grid, it'll snap. And now right now it's increments of 10. Control Z undo. I can choose this to be larger increments, so large increment of 50, for example. You see the grid changes in the background, and this now pops at the different levels. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's see what happens if we go to 100. Hold the Alt, click and drag. Do, 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 do. All right, so there we go. So now we've got three of these floors. Of course, we don't have to do that with just three. We can do that with as many as we like. So uh, click here, Shift, click, Shift, click. And again, holding the Alt key down, I'm just going to drag backwards. And now I've duplicated all of those. Again, I'm incrementing by 100 now. So now I've got a floor in place, but I'm not happy that, you know, this wood pattern looks like it's repeating too much. So I'd like to change the material. Again, over here in details where we adjusted the location before, if you look a little bit further down, there's materials. You can see that there's this wood planks material on there. So if we want to change that, uh, one thing is we could click and shift, click and shift, click. We can keep clicking these things with the shift key down to select them. Or again, they're showing up here in the world outliner. So I could click on the first one. And since they all have the same name, except a, you know, a number at the end of them, uh, we could just shift and click here and we get all of these now selected. And again, in the virtual studio kit, I'll just go up to the virtual studio kit and then materials. I'm going to make a glossy floor, so I'm going to choose glossy materials. There's a whole bunch of different glossy materials here. And uh, just for fun, I will just drag and drop this. Hey, the glossy floor, it's called. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it right over here to the materials and that'll apply it to everything. And now we're getting like this reflection 
of the uh, well the imaginary sky that this saw last time um, so now we've we've kind of got a floor pattern and you know it's got some grooves in it and everything so so there's a start now by the way um, this assigning that material to all of these objects only happens if you drag it over to the materials if I were to say take this floor and drag it and drop here even though all six are selected it only gets applied to this one so with all six selected I need to click and drag this over uh, to all of them of course now it's not showing because uh, I've got different ones in different objects that are selected so I'm going to do control Z undo again now that all six of these have exactly the same material I can click and drag a new material and now we've got a nice glossy floor it's uh, pretty clean so that's uh, that's a floor let's get a sense of scale out of this and we're just going to put a desk in place and there is a desk in the virtual studio kit it's under meshes and paragon and right here there's a modular desk we're just going to drag that out here and if i you know so far i've just been positioning things so if i want to rotate this i can hit the e key um, that will bring up the rotation tool and then i can turn this around and i don't want to uh have to rescale this at all I want to build the set around the size of this again I'm just alt left clicking to kind of pivot around so you know we said the E key is the uh, rotate key and that seems kind of strange except that really we're using a set of keys around that so W is the move tool E is the rotate tool and R is the scale tool and even though those letters don't sound like they make much sense they're next to one another on the keyboard so W E R uh, is a really quick way of being able to switch what type of operation we want to do on an object. All right, so let's uh, finish up some more basics with this studio here. Uh, one of the things we might want to add would be, you know, stairs up to a balcony. Right up to meshes and choose stairs. And there's a nice long staircase here. I'm going to drag and drop this out here. These stairs are going in the wrong way. I want them to go to the back, so I'm going to hit E. And again, rotation is also got the snap tool. Right now it's rotating in increments of 10 degrees. So snap, 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 snap. So I move this around and I can read that uh, it's now at 180 degrees. So now that's moving to the back. I am going to hit W for move and drag this over to the right side in this case, because I like the railing to be away. And I will, uh, I want a copy of it over here. So I'm gonna do Alt and drag this over Except now this railing, I, again, I want it on the outside of the stage, not on the inside. Uh, and so we can use the scaling trick that we saw in uh, one of the demo levels. So I hit R to scale, and I'm just going to scale this in. And when I pass the zero point, I'm extending it. And now I'm actually scaling in negative. And now the railing is on the other side. So if you really want to see how this is working numerically, again, in details, there's scale and then if I select this object, you see one, one, one. If I select this one, you see one, negative one, one. So all I really did by dragging this is adjust this scaling, right? So if I set this to one, they're identical. If I double click here and tap, type in negative one, I've now basically reversed this in the Y direction. Yes, there's green access for the object. And now the, the railing's on the outside. All right, so if I want to go ahead and finish this off, I might want to uh, put in some more flooring. So I'm just going to click on this floor I've already got, hit W, hold the Alt key, drag it up, and then move it over. And I'm, you know, I can't quite seem to get this in exactly the right spot because of the snapping. So instead of snapping by 100, I'm going to change that to 10. And now I should be able to, there we go, get something that, that looks much more reasonable. Now I'd like this to uh, span the entire space here between these two. So I'll hit, get this kind of in the middle and hit R to scale and just scale in this direction. And then W again, just to kind of center that up. And that looks fine. R maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. Well, you know, safety first. So let's get some railing over here. And uh, there is a railing here in the stairs uh, models. And so we'll just go ahead and take that railing for now. And we'll put that into place. That looks a little large for our scale. So I'm gonna delete that. Let's see if we can find some other railings. I think there might be some under, oh wait, there's actually a whole section, railings. There we go, folder for railings. 
And let's just drag and drop this window. Ah, there we go. All right, so, um, you know, I dragged it so that my mouse was actually on this floor, and so the object snapped down to that. It was kind of nice. E to rotate, just turn this a little bit this way. W, and just position that right on the edge of the balcony. And then, again, hold the Alt key and drag. And now I've got a copy, Alt key and drag. Each time I do this Alt key, I release the Alt key and press it again so I can drag out another one. I think if I hold the Alt key down, hold, and didn't let go of the alt key click again yeah just keep moving this the original one okay so my railings are a little large let's go ahead and delete this last one i'll click on this staircase w i can't see the pivot point just gonna move back so i can just move this in so it comes right to that railing and then again click here and kind of center this up okay so we got a balcony with a railing let's extend this floor one two three with the shift key down Alt and drag that back. Oops, undo. I dragged it up. Alt and drag it back. And there we go. So we're starting to get something that's looking like a set. Uh, let's just finish this up really quickly with uh, some walls. So we'll just go to the meshes folder again and go to walls. Double click that. Lots of walls to choose from here. And I will just take uh, this one here in the middle for fun. All right, it's pretty generic, but that'll do for now. So just moving this into position. You know, might want to make it interesting. Let's stagger this. I'm just going to hit E, rotate it a little bit, and then W, and hold the Alt key down and drag backward. There we go. Alt key, drag backward. Alt key, drag backward. You know, so now it looks a little more interesting than just being one big long flat wall. Alt key, backward, there we go. Uh, again, shift select each of these and Alt key, drag across. And you'll see that right now the rotation is about 40 degrees in Z, right? All of these are selected. So I can just double click this and do minus 40 and enter. And look at that, now they're all staggered with one another and we're starting to get what looks like a stage. Maybe I want this to be higher vertically. So again, shift click, 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 alt key down. These are also still selected. So I just drag up and now I've got a nice tall wall, or maybe I'll just offset these a little bit like that and stagger that. There we go. All right. So we're starting to get something interesting. You could continue with this now and you know, just build out some more structure. I think one other thing I'm going to show is just the um, ceiling grids is, you know, on most studios and stages, there's lots of piping up in the ceiling to hold lighting. So we can go to meshes and is it props? Yep. Props has a ceiling truss. So we can just drag this in here, drag it up. And we don't need this to connect or anything like that. We just want it to kind of float up there. It'll cast some nice authentic looking shadows. Alt, drag. You know, I'm not really fitting them perfectly. Alt, drag. There we go. Uh, Got to be careful shift clicking them. They're really small. So shift, click, shift, click. If I accidentally click in the middle here and click a wall, I just keep, hold the control key and click again and unselect something that I don't want selected. All right, so before I make a mess of things, I'm just going to try and center this a little bit better between the other two. Shift select, shift select. Oops, control select that wall. There we go. And finally, alt key, drag that back. Alt key, drag that back. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's starting to be a studio. So I hope this helps. Keep doing some more on your own. Until next time, have fun.